Hello everyone, this is Rahul from Opus. Today we are going to solve this question which states fill the grid with colors according to the following themes. So in this kind of questions when the theme is you first we have to understand what the theme is. So when you see this theme you try to visualize a scene in that theme and try to understand what kind of colors uh, that can evoke uh, in your mind that can evoke in your mind when you particularly visualize that uh, a scene in a particular theme so in this case we can uh, generally visualize a night sky so suppose if i uh, select this uh, uh, try to incorporate certain colors which closely represent the color of the sky uh, during the night uh, and then start filling it up like in this way It can be as random as possible but overall it can give that feel of night like something which is a uh, feeling uh, that it is something related to night night sky then then you can if i take a darker color select a darker color and then fill up other spaces so this can help create that required mood and feel of a certain Like as if you are seeing the night sky in itself. Alright. So in this way you can slowly convert the given boxes into color filled with colors which can represent the necessary theme in a given order. So there is no like given rule that you have to follow. Just be spontaneous and see whether the given theme actually represents your uh, mood and feel of the subject you have chosen. Okay. Now since it looks too dark, we can choose a lighter variation now to mix it up. Suppose if I to some places I give a little bit of lighter tint to just give that feel of a night sky so that can actually help me bring that necessary theme much more clear okay then I can select a gray tone a grayish tone and to some places here and there we can fill it all right so overall you see it gives them gives me an impression that this is something related to night now in the same way if i uh, try to use this uh, fill this uh, this grid which represents you know, which is supposed to be filled with the word introvert now introverts are very calm calm in nature from the outside and they can focus on intense task uh, with high uh, like concentration so they are mostly intelligent so but they are very calm and quiet from the outside and sometimes it may feel that they are not that social so we can select some cool colors to represent their exterior so in this way I can feel the outside which might represent their exterior so I'm using some cool colors here
then again you can select a different tone and fill some part of it I will let the inner part because introverts are mostly from the inside they are very uh, highly intellectual so for this inner grids I will use a color which represents intelligence and that is mostly on the uh, yellowish uh, as a yellowish feel so I will choose a cooler one in a little lighter tone and try to fill those up and then I can select a little bit of just to evenly spread it out and then at the core I can use a much more lighter tone suppose here and there so for the out exterior we can generally give a lighter tinge of blue to in around the corner to make it much more interesting All right. So this is actually abstract representation via colors, which does not have any direct, like very di direct uh, meaning, but it can closely represent the uh, represent that feel of that word in a given sense. So in this way, you can practice. You can take any uh, any theme you want, any word you want, and try to uh, visualize what that. Uh, what could be the uh, what could be the most apt colors that can represent that word so this word can be very objective or it can be a subjective and uh, you may not have a direct suppose this night we can visualize this night but for introvert you have to understand a person so this can be uh, this you can straight relate to something in the world but you cannot this you cannot straight uh, relate it but it's a feel factor so you have to need to have that ability to communicate both and so the best thing to get that ability in your uh, to solve this question is to take as many words as possible and try to depict it via colors so this will develop uh, develop your that inner sense of color selection so i i hope this lesson helps you a lot thank you